Good morning. I'm in uh, Wichita Falls, staying at this uh, hotel. I'm not going to recommend that you guys stay at this place again, but uh, I shouldn't always go with the cheapest hotel options. So anyway, I'm hoping uh, I'll be all right in the next days to come. About 8.15 in the morning. It's not an early start for me, but uh, only got one leg to get to Mount Pleasant today. Um, stayed in a hotel. I didn't sleep all that well. It wasn't the nicest place, so I won't go back to that place. But anyway, uh, one leg, Mount Pleasant, 182 nautical miles. I think I can get it on one leg. We'll try it out. Let's hope for some good ground speed. If not, I'll just stop somewhere and uh, go from there. Yesterday was a long day. A uh, little trying with a lot of uh, gusty winds on all the landings, but uh, man, the champ handled all that very well. I kind of picked my airports that were into the wind and uh, wasn't you know, too much crosswind anywhere. That's one thing you gotta consider when you're ferrying is to, to really not put yourself in a bad situation. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll see you guys uh, at the airplane. We're all fueled up and everything. I'm gonna go pay for the hangar and the fuel and uh, get on our way here. It's, I don't even know what time it is. It's, it's nine o'clock. It is a late start, but uh, the owner that bought the airplane, he doesn't get off work until the afternoon. So I'm gonna kind of just taking my time. Plus I woke up at like two in the morning. Um, yep, let's go get it paid. Alright, uh, about to take off here for Mount Pleasant. Uh, it is currently about 9.40 a.m. And uh, we'll see how the wind goes. We may just make a fuel stop just for the uh, journey. Kickapoo downtown, uh, Yellow Champ 82029, departing runway 17. Departing the pattern out towards the uh, southwest, sorry, southeast, Kickapoo downtown.
good morning. We're up here at Cruz going to Mount Pleasant, Texas. Uh, right now we're at 3,500 feet, cruising right along, oil pressure stable, temperatures are up. Uh, you know, I'm indicating about 80 right now. RPM is about 2,400. So this champ has a O200 and it is a Continental 100 horsepower. It's pretty much a it's a 150 uh, engine. What's in a Cessna 150? Um, I just put 17 gallons of gas, 16.9 to top it off. And uh, what's amazing, I just flew three hours and maybe 25 minutes on that last leg. So it, it's kind of like it was making fuel or something. It's kind of weird, but. If we think about that, it's it was doing really, really, really well um, on the fuel burn. I had it lean out pretty good. You know, we're up at 80, uh, 9,500 to uh, 7,500, so for most of the flight. You know, looking up this airplane, it was uh, built, uh, I think, uh, January 21st, 1946. It's a 7AC conversion with a, a O200 on it. It has a... Uh, rechargeable battery uh, that operates an icon radio and has an intercom system here it uh, it's a really nice champ it has the no bounce gear this is the first time I've flown a no bounce gear uh, champ it is a little bit different than what I'm used to I, I think I mentioned it earlier but uh, when you're taking off and landing it seems like the gear extends a little bit longer so you're not really off the ground the gear is still touching the ground uh, I guess that makes it no bounce so um, it is the nicest champ I've seen. You know, I haven't really looked at a ton of champs. Well, I guess I have, but it is the nicest champ. It was restored somewhere here in Texas, so it's coming back home. Uh, but the true home is Dayton, Ohio, Middletown, Ohio. So we need to get this thing up to Middletown to the fly-in or something like that. All right, we're plugging away here. I'm uh, dropping down to 3,000 feet. Uh, I'm at 2,900, actually. But uh, here's a windmill farm. Uh, just north of Dallas area and uh, it's kind of crazy because there's no wind but all the airports are reporting like uh, 27 knot winds but the windmills aren't moving so kind of interesting all right uh, we're still just north of Dallas uh, heading that way or I don't know 120 miles away and uh, this is a huge lake you guys can see here uh, this is Ray Roberts Lake. If you look on the sectional, you'll see it, but it's right north of Dallas. And, uh, man, that's a lot of acreage, I would say. But pretty good checkpoint on a map if you're ever out here just uh, flying around. And there's tons of highways here in, in Texas. Good thing about Texas, everything kind of runs pretty square. So east, uh, northeast, southwest on the road. So you can kind of figure out which way you're kind of going. Champ's doing really well. Uh, be glad to get this thing there. I'm going to meet up with uh, Kelly and uh, Scott and uh, probably go out to lunch and uh, call this trip a trip and uh, meet the new owner, Gary. Uh, he'll get off work a little bit in the afternoon, so it'd be fun to meet him. And, uh, hey, Mount Pleasant's right up there by those lakes. Uh, we're about 20 miles out, and uh, Scott and Kelly wait to go to lunch. I'm ready to go to lunch. I haven't had breakfast, but uh, I'm going to switch over. I switched one fuel tank, auxiliary tank. I'm going to switch over to the right one, show you guys how this works. Uh, you just reach up here, and you uh, just turn the knob to on position. It gravity feeds into the main uh, fuel tank, which is a 13-gallon tank. The auxiliary tanks are 5-gallon. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it, it works pretty easy. You can, uh, the fuel lines, you'll, uh, you'll feel that they're cold. Uh, the cold fuel is running through them, so it's kind of a good indication. You have to have uh, one tank on at a time. You can't turn both of them on. And also, it's placard. Uh, whenever the main tank is between a quarter and zero is when you can switch it over.
Alpha is a traffic uh, Ronca Champ, uh, 82029. We're two miles out to the west, inbound for Midwood Crosswind, 17. Alpha. As a traffic, Bronca Champ 029 uh, is Midwell Crosswind 17, Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant traffic, uh, Ronca Champ left downwind 17, Mount Pleasant. All right, uh, turn a left downwind here. And I uh, got the carburetor heat in. Or working. Mount Pleasant traffic uh, champs turn a left base 17. Mount Pleasant. Thing landed like it was crawling. We're here. Yes. It's beautiful. I like it. It flies well, too. Good. How you doing, Kelly? I'm good. All right, everyone. I made it here to Mount Pleasant, Texas, uh, around noon time, central time. And uh, I came out of Wichita Falls. It took two hours and 30 minutes to get here. I was greeted by my friends uh, Kelly Mahone. And we went to lunch, so now I'm doing a finish up video with the ferry. The ferry was absolutely awesome. So I'm gonna take you guys on that journey. It took 13.8 hours for, from uh, Spanish Fork, where we're at here today, which is Mount Pleasant, Texas. I don't know how much gas we burned, but I, I figured we burned probably about five and a half to 6.1 gallons per hour for the entire flight, uh, which is really good. I was anywhere up to about almost 10,000 feet pretty much 9,500 feet, and uh, the last leg I got down to 2,000 feet. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the ferry flight. I'll see you guys pretty soon on the next ferry flight. Until then, blue skies.